Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to set up quantum rings. Now, so what quantum rings are for, they're basically used for connecting like two networks together. So for example, let's say you have a home network in your base and you want to, for example, have your applied energistics or your resources in Nether. So for this, you would use quantum rings. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So this is the actual setup. And in a second, I'm gonna explain um, how to set this up. But first of all, we need a me network or applied ener energistics network, right? So what we got is I've, I've got a power source, so creative energy cell, me controller. There only needs to be one me controller in your home network. You can have more than one. There only needs to be one and can be only one. Your me drive. So in this case, obviously you can add chests and stuff. So, but in this, for the purposes of this video, I'm just using a me drive with storages and my security terminal so I can access the, the, uh, access the stuff wirelessly. Okay. Then from the me controller, what I've got is I've got cables going and I've got to connect it to the basically quantum ring, right? Now, let me break down what the quantum ring is, right? So to build this, all we need to do is you need to build it like this, right? So as you can see, um, eight blocks and the one in the middle is a quantum link chamber. So if you basically do this, right? And if I just do like this, now, as you can see, there's nothing happening yet. If I take this block, and I basically put it in the middle. You only need one of these for each quantum ring. And as you can see, it automatically creates its own basically first side of the bridge, right? And the other basically side, so the same bridge as I showed you before, the same bridge, the same layout, right? Needs to be crafted on the other side. So this could be just as far as you want it to be or as far, as close as you want it to be. So it could be in the nether, it could be in the end, it could be literally next to the door, right? So wherever you want this, you need to craft this. As soon as you craft it, it's not linked yet. You need to create something called singularity or quantum entangled singularity, right? This is basically what links your bridges together and I'm going to show you how to basically create both of these. Now, make sure that you're not taking them from the creative mode, right? So if you type in singularity, make sure that you're not taking them from here because this will not work. You need to physically craft them. Otherwise, it's not going to work, right? I'm going to show you how to do this now. Now, before you get your quantum entangled singularity, which is basically important to link your bridges together, you need something called singularity. Now, to craft your singularity, if you come to the J, as you can see, this is how to craft it. So you need matter condenser, you need a 64K me storage component, and then you need items. Now, the thing is with here, I'm gonna give you a little tip in a second. As you can see, this is right what I've got, right? Now, the thing is, as you can see, you need 530, I'm just gonna round it, 530,000 items. Right, so that means I physically, I'm gonna actually put, I'm gonna put one stack and as you can see, 64. If I put another one, 128. One more, 192. So I need 530,000, thousand, this is not single items, thousand, right, of any items. I can be dirt, cobblestone, whatever, right? If I put a diamond, for example, it's treated as one, so do not put anything expensive, just put cobblestone. However, I'm gonna give you a little tip. I don't think it's worth doing it. What I just recommend doing it is just literally turn on game mode and take one singularity, because let me be honest with you, this doesn't really give you any, any, it doesn't really give you any like item or something. It just allows you to connect your networks. So it's up to you if you really want to put 530,000 items Right, I'm just gonna cheat it, obviously, because I'm in creative and this is a tutorial. I'm just gonna cheat it, and in my home world, I also cheated, because let me tell you, I don't have that much time to waste in, in, a, in a game, right? So anyways, as soon as you get it, right, then we can craft it, right? So I'll show you how to actually craft it. Now, to craft your singularity, to actually link your networks, you need a singularity, so whatever you got it, however you got it, I don't know. And then ender dust. You need ender dust. And then what you need to do is you need an explosion. Now there's two ways to do it. You can get a creeper trophy. So if you throw these two things on the ground, make sure you don't pick it up. And then you just click on creeper trophy. It has to be within the range of the explosion. As you can see, it creates the quantum sing entangled singularity. There is another way to do it, right? I'll show you how to do it another way. Another way to do it is if you throw singularity and ender dust into a puddle of water. Let me just get out of the way. If you throw it in water, make sure it's in water and you light it up and make sure it's like close. The water will make sure that it doesn't destroy any like terrain around it. And as you can see, I have quantum entangled singularity. Now, if you're planning to create more bridges or if you want to name them, you're basically free to do so. So if you open up the anvil and you just throw them in, 
And if you just name them, I'm going to name them dim one, right? So dimension one. And as you can see, they are both named. Let me just get rid of this one. I don't need this one. As you can see, they're both named them one. Now, if I remove my singularities from this, let me just actually physically remove it. Let me just get this one as well. So if I remove both of these and I throw back them, um, right? And all I've got is I've, I've got an emerald block here and I've got a diamond block there. So if I open up the wireless terminal, as you can see, I have a block diamond, which means that's from that network. And I have a block of emerald, which means it's from this network, right? So this just proves that both of these work. Right, now, if you want to get like a wireless access point so you can use this, use this wirelessly, right? What you need to do is you need to basically, if you look at the actual quantum rings, these four blocks, so this one, this one, and this one, and this one, they are like different, right? So if I take like the cable and I'll plug this in here, as you can see, it actually connects. If I put this here, Right, as you can see, it doesn't connect. It doesn't connect from any side, right? That means there's only four interfaces, well, technically eight, because you can also connect it from this side and connect it from like this side as well. So there's lots of interfaces, right? So if I, if I connect this from this interface, I can connect anything. So as you can see, I connected a cable and I connected a, a chest, right? So you can connect as many chests as you want. Obviously, remember that the channel rule also applies just like anything. And also, the wireless access point has to be basically connected to one of the interfaces. I connected at the top because it looks basically, I think that's like the best um, spot for it. So I connected at the top, right? Now, there is also another add-in. I don't know if you guys know about this, but you can extend the range, right? So the range is 16 meters, but if you get the wireless add done, right? So if I take 64, I'm actually going to put 16. So it doesn't, that's too much, right? I'm going to put like four. What they do is they extend your basically access to your wireless terminal with additional range, right? So as you can see, I can access a way, way, further if you have any problems what i recommend doing is i'll actually show you my setup on my home network in a second so if you have any problems i recommend just following this whole structure so as you can see this is my structure right whole setup and remember to follow the same structure on this side right same structure if you have any problems just copy my structure and then try removing stuff adding stuff and see what works what doesn't work um, that's it, right? And then I'll show you guys my home network right now. Right, so this is how my home network looks like, right? So it's very, very similar to the example I just showed you. So you've got me controller, me drive, security terminal, and then a cable going to um, from the dense cable to the quantum ring, right? And if I go right, and on this side, what I've got is a quantum ring, right? With the obviously singularity and an energy cell with an energy acceptor. Uh, the energy acceptor is important if you want to use other energy rather than the energy cells, right? And I actually recommend having some kind of good stable energy source because the energy consumption is pretty high. And then just a, a wireless access point with fit 24 cards. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and peace.